Hello, this is John Hansen here again to talk to you about NXT Power Programming, Robotics in C. We're going to talk a little bit about installing and using my tools on Linux today. You can see just a little bit. The book doesn't talk a lot about it, but it is good to know that pretty much all of my tools are available for Linux and Mac OS X. Uh, chapter 1, page 12, talks a little bit about installing and using the compiler NBC on Linux. And I'm going to give you a little tutorial uh, as a bonus for how to do that. So we will, without further ado, use my Ubuntu 64 virtual machine to show you how to do that. Okay, so I've got an NXT connected. I've got some motors connected to the NXT, which we'll try and use in a little bit. But for now, we're going to focus on installing some software and uh, configuring your, your Ubuntu system so that you can uh, install and compile for yourself all the tools that, that I've produced. So the first thing we need to do is install a compiler. So we'll start up Firefox. We'll start up a terminal window. With Firefox, we're going to try and install Lazarus. Lazarus is a cross-platform tool. Uh, if you Google Lazarus, you'll find you know a variety of links. But here, I happen to have a link already in my browser for the AMD64 Debian packages, which is what we'll need to install Lazarus and Free Pascal, a 64-bit on our Ubuntu system. Now if you want, you can uh, just go directly to the Lazarus site, click on the files link. As you can see, there's several platforms where you can download. If you have uh, Ubuntu 32-bit, you can go to this link here, but we are going to go with the AMD64 DEB. I happen to already have installed the 108 version from March 17th. You can click on this 1010 version. Go ahead and download these three files to your system. I already have them downloaded and installed, but it's pretty much a simple matter of downloading them. And then, in my case, they're in the downloads folder. And I would start with the source. I use the archive manager and then install this. I'm pretty sure I installed the source first. Uh, if you if it says, I can't remember the dependency order for sure, but I'm pretty sure source first, and then the free Pascal, and then the Lazarus, okay? So go ahead and install those three packages on your system, okay? And then the other thing we'll need to do is make sure we've got uh, live USB installed, so you can sudo apt-get, install and then live USB dash dev and in my case it says live USB dev is already the newest version uh, these were files I believe that were already installed uh, they were no longer needed I would ignore all that um, I think I could safely use you know, apt get auto remove, but I don't want to screw anything up on my system, so I'm going to leave those there, okay? Um, and we'll leave this box open, we'll use that in just a bit. The, ex the next thing we need to do is get some source code that we can build. To start with Bricks CC, go to the Bricks Command Center SourceForge site. If you scroll down, there's a latest version link. If you click on that, It'll take you to the SourceForge files section. We aren't interested in any of these files right now. We just want to get the code. So we'll click on the word code here. And in just a second, SourceForge is going to respond. And we're going to click on HTTP. And so it shows you the SVN command. Some version may or may not be installed on your system. If it's not, then you'll need to use apt-get. 
So you'll need to say sudo apt get install subversion. And in my case, it actually does want to install an upgrade, so we'll go ahead and say yeah. All right, so that installed, and now we need to. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm just put everything in a folder off my desktop. And then I'm going to the subversion check. Oops. The whole thing is in my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste that right there. Subversion checkout. You can also say CO. Oops. Yeah. CO. And then I'm going to explicitly tell it to put it in a folder on my desktop, brick CC. And that's going to go get a bunch of code. I'll just take a second. While it's doing that, I'm going to come back over here to Firefox. We need a, some components for my graphical tools, one of them at least, called Pascal Script. And it's on GitHub, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to switch over to the source page for Pascal Script. Eventually. And over here is the HTTPS URL, but we want to click on Subversion, okay? Hello. Oh, that is the Subversion. I'm oh, sorry, I clicked. Copied to the clipboard. Yeah. Uh, all right. Go back to the terminal. And then we want to do the same thing as the and check out paste. We actually want to get trunk, so just we're going to add trunk and then we're going to say Pascal script. So that should get trunk with any luck. And just to check, we'll say Pascal script. See, it makes, yep, that looks right. Okay. Now, before we go on to bricks to compile my utilities, we need to compile Pascal script really quickly. And I have actually put Lazarus on my tools over here, so I'm going to go ahead and start Lazarus. start yes it did and then we're going to ignore that I'm going to go up here somewhere okay there we go package open package file Pascal script LPK you may have to browse from your desktop Pascal script source Pascal script LPK and I just click compile and it should pop up in this message window a bunch of messages and in the end it should be compiled so it's all done all right all right so I've closed down Firefox I'm uh, closed Lazarus I've compiled my Pascal script you can see I've got a folder on my desktop let's go ahead and just have a quick look in there Oops, I opened it twice in the source there should be a folder now called live which didn't exist before and it's 64-bit Linux so all the compiled code is in there now so that's good now we're going to go into brick CC and start trying to build some stuff okay so let's start with the compiler itself it's in a folder called NXT and there's a make file several make files that have a .mak extension. So the one we want is nbc unix.mak. So just really quickly nbc unix.mak and it should be set up to work completely out of the box without any need to change 
just one thing to check would be yeah so I'm just verifying I've commented that out so as long as free Pascal is on a, on your path you should be good to go let's just see for tech PC version 2.6.2 for x86 64 so that's the right version it's actually when you launch FPC it launches this PPC x64 in user slash live slash FPC 2.6.2 so everything's good to go there so I'm going to abort that and I'm just going to try and make NBC mixed up and okay and then I'll clean with real clean that deletes compiled and then the make all we'll try and make the NBC compiler so we'll try that so far so good looks like it's plowing through all the source code without any errors and it finished successfully now let's just try a file uh, typos NBC NBC and that says it's an ELF 64 bit executable that has been stripped so it's good to go so NBC dash help and I'm going to go up into, and then down into my tests folder and then into my examples folder and then there's an example called playtone.ex underscore playtone.nxc very simple nothing fancy it plays a tone for half a second and then it exits and so dot dot slash dot dot slash nxt slash nbc is my compiler and I want to download it slash dash d and I want to compile at ex underscore play tone dot nxc and I've got my nxt here which you may or may not be able to see very well let's see what happens so there's a little beep there and a whole bunch of status messages we don't really want to see status messages so dash s m dash space we'll get rid of all that and there were no warnings no error messages so no compiler output whatsoever but the beep at the end suggests that it actually successfully downloaded and we can actually replace the dash d with the dash r which is download and run it should beep and then it should long beep and we can say dash q which tells it not to do that beep on download so the dash q will tell it not to beep whenever it downloads but the dash r will tell it to run and so it runs and if we run it on the NXT you can see it runs and plays the tone okay so we were able to build the compiler and that is the very latest source code so you should always if you, if you follow those procedures you should always have the very latest okay